The purge has now ended. Wait, what's that? Has... Oh, they're gonna keep going. Oh, they're overthrowing America! Well, shit! <laughs> hi, everyone! Um, hi there, it's me, Grant, the movie and TV guy. Hello! Um, movies and TV is what we do here, and today we are talking about the fifth and apparently final of those rumors are gonna do a part six movie in the Purge series. It's entitled The Forever Purge. Uh, the Forever Purge is directed by, it's written by James DeMonico, but it's not directed by him this time. It's directed by, I'm going to butcher your name, uh, sir or ma'am, um, Everardo Valerio Goat, or Gout, Gout, yes. Okay, uh, sorry. Um, so what's the Purge, of, what's the Forever Purge, rather, about? It's, uh, the fifth installment in the series. In movie terms, they did, um... The Purge, The Purge Anarchy, The Purge Election Year, The First Purge, which is actually the fourth Purge, I know, I'm confusing, and the two seasons of that Purge TV show that got cancelled. This is the fifth and final song entitled The Forever Purge, and it picks up supposedly after Election Year. The TV series takes place after the first Purge, um, the prequel, the fourth film. And basically, this is directly following the third one. Um, we begin the movie, there's this, um, woman named Adela, she's played by Ana de la Uguero. Reguera, rather, who was um, not really, but she's also in Army of the Dead um, from, early, from uh, earlier this summer. She's crossing the border in Mexico in the U.S., and uh, she's never seen a purge before, and the purge ends, but there's a group called the Forever After Purgers, and they decide, you know what? Screw it. Twelve hours isn't enough. We are going to um, purge as long as we want. Uh, right, rules and regulations of the new Founding Fathers be damned, and... They go hog wild, and soon, um, in an ironic twist, um, Miss Adira Reguera is teaming up with Josh Lucas and his family, um, who is sort of pseudo racist. He has to kind of he, he learns to bond with these uh, these um, Mexican people as they attempt um, Latinx people as they attempt in an ironic twist to cross the border into Mexico for safe haven. Mexico and Canada are the only places, and they're going to shut down. Um, in six hours, so it's a race against the clock to escape the Forever Purge. Look, um, not much to say about this one. I will say it's another Purge movie. If you've seen this one, these movies and you like them, you're gonna like this one. Um, and I do like these films. Um, if you, um, hate these movies, um, and if you've also gone past the first one, the first one is nobody's favorite, but after, second movie on, if you still hate these movies, this isn't gonna change your mind. Um, I like the characters just fine. Um, I thought the direction was mostly solid, although sometimes it did kind of feel like a, like a longer episode of that TV show. Um, but one, a few critics have pointed out, and I kind of agree with this, that, uh, these, these movies can no longer compete with the real world in a post kind of January 6th environment. So there's kind of a moment about well into the second act of this movie where they're all meeting up at this kind of compound and they're watching the news of basically a city on fire and it kind of bears really disturbing echoes to, um the Capitol um, insurrection from January 6th. Now, they, of course, didn't know this was going to happen. They shot and finished this movie in 2019. It was delayed from last year um, by COVID. They did not predict this. But it, it's still hard to watch this movie and be truly afraid of it knowing that this is even happening in the real world. But um, not much more to say. I thought it was good. I also thought that the film overall, though, could have taken itself a little less seriously, kind of like the second and third movies. I still think they're the cream of the crop. But... Regardless, um, I still enjoyed The Forever Purge as just a good old exploitation film with a little something extra to say on top. Um, even if it wasn't the most subtle message, and I'm going to give it, it's going to be a quick review, I'm going to give The Forever Purge three and a half out of five stars. Solid matinee. I don't think it's worth walking two blocks for, but it's definitely worth going to the theater to see at least once. Um, Alright, um, before we begin, I just wanted to um, thank Josh V. He's my new subscriber who I actually met. Yesterday at my screening of the Boss Baby, and then ran into again um, at the Forever Purge. So, uh, thank you, Josh. Um, thanks for joining joining the gang, my friend. Um, all right, and uh, yeah, three and a half out of five stars for the Forever Purge. Let's close the book on it so I can get to Fear Street. So let's uh, trailer trash though. First and foremost, um, what do we got for trailer trash? Um, okay, we're gonna run through the Many Saints of Newark. This is a, a, a prequel movie to The Sopranos. I'm really excited. Love The Sopranos. Can't wait to check that out. Don't Breathe 2. I didn't know they are making this. Uh, so this is a sequel to Don't Breathe. One thing is, are they going to make the Blind Man a hero? I don't think they can do that after what they did in the first one, but I'm still looking for it. Shang-Chi and Legend of the Ten Rings. We talked about it. Marvel fan. Can't wait to check it out. 
The Night House, again, we talked about it, looks creepy. Snake Eyes, G.I. Joe Origins, uh, we talked about it, I'm excited, G.I. Joe, massive fan. This is the weird one, Pig. Uh, this was a movie with Nicolas Cage, at first I thought it was going to fake us out and be like a secret trailer for the unbearable weight of massive talent, that kind of that movie that he's doing where it's Nicolas Cage, it's Nicolas Cage, but no, it's, it's Nicolas, it's, I can't tell if this is a comedy or a drama, it's Nicolas Cage and he's, his Pig is taken or killed. He like his only friend in the world is a pig. He's kind of looks like Grizzly Adams, kind of mountain man, and then he goes looking for it. Um, goes like kind of Nazi. Weird looking one. Um, Candyman. We talked about another a different trailer with Zola. It's a new one. Looks creepy. Can't wait. Halloween Kills. That's the last one. Yes, let's do it. I don't want to say more, but let's let's do Halloween Kills. I'm excited. Um, and was there Sharma? No, there wasn't. So. All right. Um, thank you, Josh B. That's it. Um, we're gonna close. We're gonna get three and a half stars for the Forever Purge. Um, I gotta go watch Fear Street Part One. So, um, and then we got the Tomorrow War and Black Widow on the way, as well as Fear Street Part Two. That'll all be next time. And until next time, I'm Grand the Movie TV Guy. I see it all. I'm happy to share with you. I love you all. I appreciate you all. I love you all, Customist. I love you three thousand. Be kind to one another. Thanks, Josh V. Go check out the Forever Purge if you wanna, and uh, if you're a fan, especially. And uh, thank you all. Take care. See you soon.